All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. We are entering the land of retail. This is where you will spend 99% of your days. If you are a commercial cinematographer, you want to do Lysol? Let's go. Uh, these are always good too because the people's mouths, right? They use them in so many different regions. They never match the uh, the voiceovers, which is always good, right? The, they just go right over the top with it. But uh, person on green screen in a fancy place. I like that framework-y uh, product grab inside playing video games. Ta-da! That's your ad, right? There's a day's work. Uh, and you never show this to anybody. You don't talk about it. You don't do anything like this guy. Look, he's clocking you. Afterwards, you got to go like men in black just zap that kid's memory. We weren't even here. I was never here, right? I'm supposed to be at Camry Mush, right? You didn't see me here doing this fruit thing. Uh, anyway, let's talk about it. It's nice. This is how you, you know, you got to be a good cinematographer to make it look like this, but you're doing Lysol. Okay, but you got to put your kids through school. So what are we doing here? This is interesting back here. Imagine if this wasn't here, how flat it would be. Need to do it. Shoot into the L of the room. It's back there. This is classic stuff, right? This is, you don't even have to think about it. You just show up on set. You know exactly what you're going to do. Let's do the framework thing. Let's put it through this way. Uh, let's shoot into the L of the room. Let's have shears. Let's light up those shears. Uh, and then we'll have a little crack here where we can do up here, probably from up here, right? This is, uh, I know you're shooting in the studio. We need uh, two flats, please. Some shears. We're going to light this way. We're going to get this, maybe two stops above the background, right? Two stops above this, four stops above this area. Uh, kid's going to walk in. It's nice and soft. We're going to play it this way. And this kid's mom is going to be standing this side of the camera, right? Because we don't want him looking this side of the camera because then this is going to flatten off his face, even though we're playing it super high key, right? And if you want more contrast in here, what do you do? You just add neg this way, right? To suck up all of this balance that is here. Uh, from there, also, notice the practical. Always on, right? That's a nod to Andre. He walks in, grabs a little device. Now this one, again, practical on, this is, let's take that exact same light that we already set up. Let's put magic cloth over here. Let's use a, I don't know, six by six of magic cloth. We'll put a gr grid on it uh, and we'll make this lady, we'll make it as soft as we can, right? You can barely make out the shadows. Maybe we take the neg, we walk it back a little bit to open up this area. Uh, and then we set up the dark side of her face on the light side of the background, right? Because that way it stands out. If you had her dark hair over here, it doesn't stand out as much. And you're like, really? Do they really go through that level of detail? You would be surprised how bored you get on set and the things that you will come up with. It's like, hey, wait a sec. I know. What if we move her a little bit that way? That way, the dark side of her hair lines up there. And let's also nudge that practical into the background. And can we shoot? You know, you're always checking. Are we wide open? Can we shoot? Should have got the T1s. Shouldn't have got the T1.5s. Should have got the T1s, right? You're shooting large format. You're just trying to get rid of this background because it's the most boring thing you've ever seen. But that's what you do on set. You get a little green screen action, right? Maybe this is a separate studio. Here, this is, I mean, we did in the last video, we looked at the non frameworky version of the credit card shot. This is the framework version. Easiest shot in the world. Put a four by frame just over there. Uh, bring the light over the top. Add some neg this side to suck up all of this. If you want more contrast, more neg. That's it. Have these lines in here to keep it interesting. Right? Imagine if you didn't have this, you would flatten it off. Always thinking layers. How do we fit in more layers? Well, let's put the cup back there. Okay, I like that. What about the crowns? Good. Uh, what is that? Little jewelry box? Yes, please. Have we got anything else? Anybody have anything else we can throw into the frame? Nope. Okay, let's go. Uh, this one you can see is significantly less dramatic, right? We've got our backlight over the top. Then we've got a ton of level coming back here. You can see it in the nail, the reflection. We've actually got uh, an electric bounce over here, AKA a light. Uh, and that makes the contrast way, way less versus something like this. Go back to picking the thing up, right? Darker in the shadows, darker down here. Just looks a little bit more dramatic and it's more interesting. It's like what well, it immediately draws your eye to where the focus is if we're using light and dark. Uh, same thing here, super, super simple. Uh, shoot along the thing to give it some interest. Spots in the background, not too hot, right? Maybe a stop and a half over the key light. So 
is a no-brainer. But get used to it. Because if you are a commercial cinematographer, this is the world. Unless you're really good. And then what are you doing watching this? Ask yourself that. Do you want to see how the other people live? Do you want to see how I spend my days? <laughs> it's actually pretty fun. Okay, that's going to do it. We will see you in the next one. Goodbye.